If modern games have got you down and you're searching for a new delicious taste to sample, then get ready to cut yourself a huge slice of frenetic action platforming. Top with the speed and energy of a cocaine binge, Pizza Tower. Discover the video game equivalent of being kicked out of a car going 120 miles an hour as Pizza Tower blasts you through level after level of breakneck gameplay, where your goal is to guide your insane, mouth-foaming Italian berserker as he slams through walls and spinning pile drives his enemies at Mach 10, furiously bashing through levels that you'll barely have time to comprehend before they're over. With an aesthetic that's somewhere between Earthworm Jim and an actual acid trip, and gameplay that will either make you feel like an unstoppable juggernaut or the clumsiest idiot who's ever touched a controller. But either way, you'll be doing it at the highest speed possible. I'm sure Pizza Tower was exactly what they had in mind when they were thinking of Mario X Sonic fan art. Put on the traditional chef's hat of Peppino, a lunatic Italian mutant who's somewhere between Wario and the Tasmanian Devil, who must annihilate everything in his path with extreme prejudice as he frenetically climbs up the titular psychedelic pizza tower, collecting toppings and ingredients for points, and beating the absolute crap out of any creature unfortunate enough to get in his way, and levels that feel like they draw inspiration from classics like Kirby, Donkey Kong Country, and Wario Land, with visuals that are somewhere between Boogerman and Wojak, that fulfill a deep desire you didn't know you had to stop for absolutely nothing as you crush your way back to a successful pizza restaurant? I don't know, I kind of lost the plot after I body surfed a corpse, but it's still pretty fun. Experience a variety of levels greater than any pizza-themed game you've ever played, as each zone seems to add one to seven new unique mechanics for you to pound into your calzone. From suits of armor to hot chicken mechanics, ghost possession and barrel rolls, an entire level where you're just playing golf for some reason, or even an alternate character and his adorable giant rat steed who honestly, I'd play an entire game about. All of which you'll have to wrap your head around at top speed because this game doesn't stop for nothing. And that's before you hit the end of the level, where you'll knock over a giant Maui statue and have to blast your way back to the entrance again while you're on a strict timer, making you run like the Flash if he was a stereotypical pizza chef who was driven mad by Cthulhu, until you either reach the entrance or your heart explodes in real life. And that's not because of all the pizza you're probably binging while playing this. All I'm saying is they know their audience. After you've crushed your way through a handful of abstract pizza-themed nightmares, experience Pizza Tower's unnecessarily epic boss battles as you take on a succession of Zah-related foes with sinister designs and varied movesets that will keep you guessing as you patiently wait for your opening to slam them into the wall like you're in the WWE and the ref's not looking in boss gameplay that ends up feeling surprisingly compelling even if the game doesn't really feel like it's designed for it at all. But that's okay, because I've waited decades now for a chance to beat up the Noid, and I feel like this is as close as I'm ever gonna get. <laughs> so get ready for some gabagool, and taste of that spicy meatball, and a game that might look like Ren and Stimpy, but that plays more like being in one of the Crank movies, and is way more fun than it probably has any right to be. Whatever Mad Demon inspired this thing, I hope they've got the pizones to keep it going, because this game is pretty tasty in my brain mouth. Starring When the moon hits your eye Like a big pizza pie That's amore When you're fisting a dude With a bad attitude That's amore PCP Tower The only thing this game is missing is a big button that delivers actual pizza to my house. Come on, if EverQuest could figure that out in like 2005, surely it can be done. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Help, Leon. Help me, Leon. The problem is not the problem. The problem is your attitude about the problem. Red Warrior needs food badly. Glad you could bake it, Uther.